There are exceptions. So I'll give you an exception. Um, an exception here in the U.S. would be Best Buy. Uh, you all know, do you know Best Buy? They're, they're a retail, physical retailer. And for many years, they were the darling of everything. There, you know, as one person said, there's nothing my kids want for Christmas that's not available at Best Buy. So they had this tremendous growth. But then e-commerce came. And about 10 years ago, Best Buy was totally left for dead. And Hubert Jolie, who was the CEO, brought in sort of turned the place around, took a look at it and he said, wait a minute. There are assets we have by being a physical retailer that e-commerce players can't match. So why don't we, instead of just accepting our fate, why don't we see what those assets are and turn it around? So he began with the people. And Best Buy had gone the route of a lot of other retailers and basically fired all the experienced people, brought in the cheapest people they could have, high turnover, awful in-store experience. They, they, were, they, were, they were no good. So at that point, if you're dealing with sales staff that are no good, why not go to the internet? You're not getting any more help in the physical store anyway. Uh, so he said, uh, we're going to reinstate um, employee training. We're going to reinstate employee discounts. And we're going to reinstate employee discretion. And one of the first things he gave them the power to do was if you come into a Best Buy with a phone and you look at a TV and you say, hey, that TV here in Best Buy is $1,200 and I can get it online for $1,100, he gave the salespeople the authority to say, fine, we'll match it, with a smile, right? Um, tremendous shift, I mean, tremendous devolution of power to the frontline people. So that was one thing he did. Another thing he did was he said, wait a minute, we have real estate that has value. So. Microsoft, Sony, Apple, um, you know, all you people, you want to be in our stores? That's fine. You're going to pay us rent. So we're not going to be in the position of buying your stuff, stocking it for you, getting it showroomed and basically being at the weak end of this power structure. You're going to pay to have stores within a store. Now think of how that shifts the conversation. You're Microsoft and you decide you don't want to be there. And yet, you know, Samsung and Apple and all your competitors are there. You can't not. So he basically twisted the power uh, relation there. And then he did a bunch of other things with the behind the scenes, the customer service. I mean, there was a ton of stuff he did. But I think that was a case where I wouldn't say it was incremental necessarily, but he took a base, a model which had lost its power and shifted it around. So that would be a good example of a company that did that.